Hello everyone. Hope we're all doing good. Let's check this chat. Good evening, Alpha, Wittershins, Konami, EJ, Rudy, Greg, Zach, I am Brunson, Alejandro, Michael, Victor, Ryan. Thank you for the birthday wishes. Absurd says congrats on the drop and the Kickstarter. Thank you very much, Absurd13. I really appreciate it. Yeah, uh, I just want to, I know it was kind of a crazy push for the Kickstarter. I'm not used to posting that much. So it's a little, I get a little self-conscious about like promoting. I just like to make stuff and then put it out and then let it sit, but... And you do a Kickstarter that you are not allowed to do that. So I was kind of trying to be as on top, as on top of it as I could be. So thank you for bearing with me. That was uh, fun. It's a little stressful. Uh, but I'm very happy with the results. Skybound, super happy with the results. An incredible number of incredible supporters. I'm already working on the commentary for the Art of Extremity book that's coming with it. Super fun. Rachel, my wife, actually did the intro. She just wrote the intro yesterday for... The Art of Extremity. She has a interesting perspective being on the other side of a relationship of a creative person like myself. So yes, the uh, shirts will be an option when the backer kit survey goes out. Uh, John Romita Jr. Cable, yes, thank you, Weapon Prime. a little bit so this is kind of fun I'm doing a <clears throat> this is the goal I don't know if I'm gonna get here but I'll tell you tell you here now I love uh, music obviously I love scores I love making music uh, I love recording music when I have the time. As you know, I am working on a I tell I the the the, the infamous sci-fi project. I am working on it. It's coming along. Uh, now that Transformers art is over, I have more time to devote to art to other things like this sci-fi project. But I've always loved sci-fi soundtracks. So uh, I'm gonna try and make a soundtrack that's gonna go along with the first arc of this sci-fi story. So uh, some of you may notice, well, I don't think anybody's ever seen it, but for my birthday, I actually got a Sub 37 synthesizer, which I'm super excited about. I've been playing with it whenever I get a chance, which is not often. I'm glad it's almost the weekend because I get to make some music, which... Uh, Greg's been listening to John Carpenter's uh, Lost Themes all week. It is such a good record, and that's a big inspiration <clears throat> for me <clears throat> wanting to do my own thing. Um, if I had to say one favorite sci-fi sci soundtrack, I know it's super popular, but uh, Interstellar is, like, so awesome. Um... One thing that's been holding me back from doing this kind of thing is, like, I feel like my music production skills are really not up to snuff, you know? Like, most of my time is devoted to professionally making comics and having that be, like, kind of my creative output. Uh, but I, I love branching out and I love learning new things and, like, being a relative jack-of-all-trades as much as I can. Like, I love playing Magic the Gathering. It's not super creative, but just to go to my point, like, I'm not good at Magic the Gathering, but I do enjoy it. I'm very bad at Magic the Gathering. 
but I do like playing it. Uh, I'm very bad at golf, but I really like playing it. I'm okay at the guitar, but I really love playing with it. But all these things are things that I do relatively privately. Like, I don't take videos of myself golfing that often. Uh, unless I get a really good shot that my friend happens to take a picture of, then I may share it out there. But uh, with the music thing, you know, especially with, Mur with Murder Falcon and putting music out for that, it was a little bit adventurous because I'm like, oh, geez, you know, this isn't really something that I do a lot. And I... Like you get self-conscious, but the only way for me to get better at making like soundtracky music and vibey stuff for a comic is to just do it. So I'm refusing. I'm gonna try and take my own advice and just like go for it. Thank you, Konami. I just don't wanna. I'm not a professional music by any means. And I have way too many guitars. Like, pro musicians don't have this, this many instruments. It's ridiculous. I've also been thinking about something. I love this sci-fi book so much. I, I've been working so hard on it. <clears throat> and I'm thinking about what it would look like to have some sort of Discord server where uh, people can be invited in to see like the making of process of this big undertaking, uh, where you know it's just kind of like you get like any sort of like you know, work in progress stuff I do would go up here, some scripts like people would be allowed to read the scripts early, but I think I mentioned this before. I uh, not that I don't trust every single person in the chat, but like. The internet is a scary place sometimes. And, like, I don't really think anybody's going to steal my ideas. Like, I don't think anybody here would, anybody here in this chat would uh, even think about, like, taking ideas. But uh, I'd be worried that if, like, I share scripts on the internet before a book comes out, then it would just get shared out to the world. You know? So, I don't know. I don't know. Or maybe it's just a Discord where people could come and show off their art, you know, and I would be in and around the the vibe, the area. <clears throat> so it wouldn't necessarily be a sci-fi uh, project kick, uh, Discord, but rather just a kind of DWJ hangout. Uh, Daddy, you have to come see this. I'll be right back. Sorry about that. My kids really wanted to show me a new toy that they got. I had to see it. Uh, okay, so. <laughs> um, let's see. Working on some secret stuff today that I can't necessarily show. So let's... We're just kind of hanging out today. I'm not going to be going crazy hard. Uh, things he's reading, right on. Sharing music, yep. Oh, Pat's asking about Space Mole Chapter 9. No promises, dude. Uh, Dylan, the toy was a, uh, it was like a, a Cars, um, uh, the movie Cars, like they, I guess there's a there's like a monster truck version now or something, 
and it like rolls for a second and it pops up and like does like a flip. Uh, it was pretty cool. I'd give it a seven. I'd give it a seven, but the detailing not so great. Speaking of toys, there's a stack of GI Joes over there that I just bought for myself, thinking that my two-year-old son would be able to play with me. That's not happening. <laughs> not for a while, so I haven't opened them yet. With so many Transformers to choose from, are we going to get any DWJ Originals in the Energon universe? I don't know. We'll see. I have an idea for one. Just one. And I hope that it sticks. I hope that it sticks. Uh, I think the G.I. Joe Transformers figures are okay. I'm not a huge G.I. Joe guy. Most of those G.I. Joe guys over there just because I think they look cool, not because I really am a huge G.I. Joe fan. G.I. Joe is a little bit... I was a little late to the party with G.I. Joe, and they weren't doing reruns like they were with Transformers in the 90s as much, so... Uh, oh, speaking of toys, my heart is hoping for a Do a Powerbomb action figure. Oh, man, I actually looked into that, but you got to have something really popular before they make a toy out of it. <laughs> um, all right, let's, let's see what we got here. <coughs> Sorry, I'm <coughs> recovering from, like, I never, it was never really a cold, but I, just like congestion in my lungs, so I'm going to be coughing a fair amount. I've got my sketchbook here with some secret stuff in it that I can't quite show yet. Um, oh, I'll show you this. This is on the thumbnail. So I am thinking about doing another mini comic. I'm thinking about doing a Gundam the 8th MST mini comic just for fun. Uh, and uh, this is somebody just getting dumped on their head here. But here's like a little bit of a thumbnail that I was kind of working on a little bit. With like, it would take place. Old man Shiro is the kind of vibe. Yeah, I'm not sure. Let me see. I, I I did a little thumbnail. Let's see. Okay, yeah, I can show you some stuff here. So I have my little checklists that I do uh, for the day. Uh, I don't always do a checklist, but it does help me get things done. This is a, an upcoming Transformers cover thumbnail. I like to do my first take, my first iteration thumbnails on my in my sketchbook. Eighth Team Forever is the title of this uh, mini comic. This is a possible. I'm thinking this is going to be the cover, but that's not for sure. Uh, Oh, geez, Klaus. I hope your kid's okay. Welcome. Uh, let's see. My next convention I'll be at will be Heroes Con. Just doing some possible action scenes. Here's some. This is Old Man Shiro. We weren't hurting anybody. I don't know for sure if that line is going to make it in, but someone said in the chat that Shiro's been through a lot and he's about to go through some more. Sorry, Shiro. Let me 
actually going to swap my chair out really fast. I bought a fancy chair, thinking that it would like be better for my back, and it's just not as comfortable as my crappy IKEA chair that I've had for like 10 years. This thing is a beat to heck, but I do love it. It's starting to like sink, like into the ground, like when you sit on it, it goes tss. So, <laughs> it's all <laughs> moves around, it goes like this, but I'm, I do love it. Uh, so yeah, I don't know if you can tell. This has got kind of like a, just a bit of an action scene. Here's some more things, like a, a, a Zaku sketch that I really like. Man, Gundams are not easy to draw, though. <clears throat> Dylan, you, you should come to Heroes, dude. It's going to be legit. So I've heard good things about the Leap. I tried out the Leap, and it was between the Leap and this other steel case. And this is a little too hard, but I feel really ashamed because it's too late to return it. But it was kind of expensive, but I don't love it. So if I can find a Leap, I'll probably try and get a Leap. But uh, Okay, what am I doing here? Okay. I just need to think about what it is I'm going to be doing right now. I have this project here that I need to work on. I'm just thinking. Just the 8th MS team. Gundam the 8th MS team, Alpha. <laughs> Sorry everyone, I'm 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 being uh I, I you're watching a stream of a person just thinking, but <laughs> I don't have a lot. Well there's this I I'm, I'm like Yeah. I don't know. No, I think this is too spoilery, so I, I can't show this yet. Sorry, I can't show this yet. I know, I know what we can work on. One second. work on a cover but I'm struggling with this cover right now I'm really struggling this is uh, a seeker this is a I think you could know what kind of cover this is but I, I'm just feeling like you saw the Transformers cover last week that I was working on and it, I feel like it was pretty cool um, and like I really I worked really hard on it and it was like so kind of overdone in my humble opinion um i kind of want to go the opposite and make this kind of like gestural oh G gilmore girls comic in the chat <laughs> I guess I, I'm trying to be a little looser here today with this cover because it's more of a vibe. It's not so much, 
I don't know. I'm not sure if I'm making any sense. I don't think I want to do that. I also used the wrong brush. It's, uh, I think I just ruined my water brush. <laughs> I just I dipped it in the wrong thing. I took the wrong brush. I need something like really expressive. Maybe this? West Coast Avengers. This isn't working. I need more randomness. There we go. It's a little better. I need like more, I need something else guys. I, I'm not sure what's up. I'm really struggling with this one. I, I thought I really liked it, but now I kind of hate it. I'm just kind of going for it here.
sure a lot of you are asking, what the heck are you doing right now? And I would say, I have no idea. You know what a problem? You know what the problem is? These legs. These legs suck. Time for them to go. This might be a do-over cover because I'm so frustrated with it. I thought it was so awesome, and then like with, during the execution part of this cover, it just has fallen apart. So I'm kind of treating it a little bit like an experiment with a bit of a kind of like a devil may care kind of thing, if you can't already tell. I just thinking out loud here, but I get a little not tired. I get a little. Uh, I'm obviously not the most exacting, you know, artist. You know, I'm pretty loosey goosey. I move pretty fast. Um, but that's the, that's not the only reason why I work fast. A big reason is uh, I just I want to have expression and like emotion. I want. I want there to be an element of control lost in my lines because I don't really want to be an artist that's like, I'm not Michael Golden, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Because um, I, Michael Golden, is he's one of my favorite artists of all time, but if I had to draw exactly like Michael Golden, I'd burn out. Because he's so tight, he's so detailed. And I'm trying to find... A happy medium between like this detail that I really love drawing which is really fun and a, a kind of a controlled no, not even controlled just chaos
Oh, draw some of it with your opposite hand. That's a good idea. a good idea. This is fun. Sinaka Khan, I'm so glad you're enjoying Murder Falk and I'm, I'm really glad I was speaking to you. That means so much. Thank you for sharing. I'm still very proud of that book. So weird. One sec, guys, gotta get me close. Excuse me. I 
Gotta stand up.
Aha. My neighbor's dogs. Hello. Hello. Almost done. Okay. Got some extra whining. Extra whining because it's Friday. Uh, what is it about Friday? I don't know what it is about Friday. I'll be right out. Yuna says I am ununderstanding her. This is coming together. I gotta go. I'm reading the room. <clears throat> and the room is whining and screaming. Okay, I gotta go. Everybody have a good weekend. Um, 
I'll give you updates. Something's wrong with Starscream's neck now. Notice how I say I have to go and I keep fiddling. No good. See you next week.